Hi, I'm Max, and to continue with Mitonix Databases work series, here is a tutorial to import new profiles with SQLite Studio only, making the process available for Mac users. This is the Documents IK Multimedia Tonics folder, same path for both Windows and Mac. Here is the library.db file, containing all the tone models you see when Tonics runs. In my example folder, I've put a database containing profiles I have yet to explore from August and September. I copy it to my Tonex folder to always keep a backup. By the way, better do a backup of your library.db as well, better safe than sorry. Once done, open both databases in SQLite Studio. First, go to the Tone Models tab of each database. You can see on the bottom of the screen that they remain open in tabs, allowing you to switch between them quickly. Make sure the structure is the same. It is possible that the last lines are not in the same order. Move lines in your archive database to match your main database, never the other way around. If there are lines in your library that are not in your archive, like visible in CS Encrypt and Factory, delete them to ensure there will be no problem later. Don't worry, they will be recreated next time you start Tonix. Then validate the changes. Now open the Datas tab of each database. In your main database, check the release date of your last profile by sorting by tag date. To sort, double-click on the column. For me it's the 17th of August. Head to your archive database, sort by tag date as well, and delete every profile from this date and before. We are ready to select profiles that match our needs. In my example, I want only high gain profiles with cabs. Sort by tag model category. Click on the first line, scroll until the first high gain profile. Hold shift and click on the last non high gain profile, or last line of the page if the first 1000 lines contains none, then click the minus button to delete them and validate. We now only have high gain profiles left. Then, sort by target order, and delete everything that is not amp and cab or complex rig. If you watched my other tutorials, you know that if you delete the Black Angus profile, Tonix cannot start. Yet we deleted it because it's a drive profile. To restore it, go to your main database tone models datas, write Black Angus in the filter search bar, press enter on your keyboard, click on the line number and copy. Go back to your archive database, add a line with the plus button, click on the first cell and paste. Validate. If the line is suddenly highlighted in red, it means that it's still in your archive database, simply delete this new line and move on. Quickly head to the presets table of your archive database, datas tab, and delete everything that shows up here if there are any. Same process as tone models like we did before. Or else, Tonix could not start again if a deleted tone model was part of a preset. Close SQLite. Rename your main database to something like librarymain.db and your archive to library.db. Open Tonex. Try all the damn profiles, Marcus favorites the ones you like and close Tonex. Please do a backup of library.db that you will name like before delete.db. and rename library.db to like import.db. Open library main and import databases again, and go to your import toned models datas tab. Sort by favorite and delete every line that has a zero in the favorite columns. A one means it's marked as favorite, so you're only left with the profiles to import into your main database. Select everything, copy, and watch the last line number, that is the amount of profiles you're about to import. Go to your library main tone models datas tab, 
Click on the arrow next to the plus button and add multiple lines. Enter the number of profiles to import and click OK. X blank lines appeared. Click on the first cell, paste, validate, and you're done. Remember, if some lines appear red, just delete them because it means they are duplicates. If you did not yet, please mark as favorites every profile in your main database. Why? Because if you start disliking some profiles, you can just unmark them in Tonex to easily delete them later. Sort by favorite, put ones where there are zeros, and validate. Last step to have a very clean database, go to the SQL editor, enter vacuum, make sure the command will run on your library main database, and click the play button. When you delete lines, you don't actually free space in your file size, and this command takes care of this job. You just lost a good amount of megs and gained a few seconds of loading time when starting Tonex. Close SQLite, rename library main to library.db, open Tonex, and see your beautiful brand new profiles right before your eyes. If everything is okay, you can delete import.db before delete.db and your main backup to clean up the mess. If not, well, you did backups, so you can correct your mistakes. I talked about deleting profiles a minute ago. With time, you got bored of some and violently removed their star. Now you want to get rid of them. Open your library in SQLite, go to the Tone Models Datas tab, and sort by favorite. Delete every line that has a zero in the favorite columns. Validate and they are gone for good. Or are they? Nope. Go to the SQL editor, do a vacuum, and now they are. That's it for this tutorial, I hope it was useful. SQ Lite Studio looks harsh, but it's a very powerful tool that allows you to do pretty much everything you need to optimize your Tonex experience. I cannot cover every possible usage, but now that you've got your hands on it, you will be able to create and manage multiple databases the way you like. If you have suggestions or questions, make sure to leave a comment below. If there needs to be another tutorial, there will be another tutorial. In the meantime, enjoy Tonex and see you later.